now that you've chosen, what will you become? Demetrius here, and I thought I would share with everybody who would uh, like to watch or just to kind of check things out. Um, the tower that I just finished building, um, just a little few minor add-ons that I need to put into it, but pretty much for the most part it's finished. And I just wanted to give everybody a show of how it's looking. Uh, this is our current base right here, it's uh, Kalun Grituk. But um, I just want to show you my own personal tower that I built. And uh, it's over here. Just up this way. So it took me about uh, uh, two weeks of play to collect the materials uh, by myself. And uh, build up all the materials and the resources to be able to actually put this thing together. Uh, it was a pretty epic undertaking for myself. Uh, the second structure I've built in the game. That's the first structure that I did most of the building on. Um, Palix uh, started it out and uh, I kind of kept things going for him. And uh, that's our main clan base. And that came out pretty good and I'm pretty happy with it. Uh, we can expand and move upward with that easily. But uh, what I got coming up here is the tower and there it is I call it the black tower now I realize it's not very creative or original but uh, that's pretty much what I'm calling it I thought it would uh, be an apt an appropriate name and from here it looks really cool I'm, I'm really happy with how it came out uh, very pleased so let's go take a look before this bear come and tries to bite take a bite chunk out of me because I'm not really specced for fighting right now. But this is, uh, this is up above the plateau of Freya's Hovel. And I tried to make it simple access. It's not really designed to be a fortress. I'm hoping that it would be more of a, a group meeting place. I want to actually leave it open to everybody on the server. I don't think that's going to be practical. But that is the plan. And see, it looks very tall and ominous. And I'm very pleased with how it looks. Um, we'll just take a run around the base here. And I'm sorry I can't do a flyby. I don't have uh, privileges to do flyby. This is a live server. Um, oh, this is a server called Vile Nation. If anybody would like to find a place to play, uh, the server is an open server and uh, feel free to come on in and uh, check us out and here is the runaround everything external is built primarily of the black ice reinforced wood um, I wanted to do something with the black ice because I thought it would give me a nice dark structure look on the outside which is pretty cool I'm taking damage because it's extremely cold up here and the armor I'm wearing is not cold armor, so I'm going to have to go inside and get warm. As you can see, this is how it looks, so let's go inside. Okay. Hopefully I'm not going to have to cut this short and put different armor on because I didn't bring any with me. Yeah, okay, I'm back up to I'm healing back up. Alright, so this is the main level. Um, I wanted to have these big, fat pillars. Wanted it to have this, you know, large feel to it. And the big, fat pillars do kind of make it feel crowded. But it's only on this main floor, and I only wanted to get that feeling. Because I want this floor to be kind of like a display. Um, we'll be able to put wall displays on these pillars and hang uh, weapons and and shields and stuff like that on all these flat surfaces so that was the plan oh and I actually brought 
doors which I haven't installed yet. Which I need to get installed. And well, I don't know why I'm having a problem with the doors. That's really weird. Did I not make the right item? Oh, I made the wrong item. I need to make gates. I made doors. So let's put the doors on. And are those facing the right way? I don't even know what these doors are supposed to look like. Yeah, spikes out, so that's facing the right way. Okay, good. And spikes out on that. Yes. Okay. All right. So here is the main hall. And I'm going to be build, putting in some torches. As a matter of fact, I'll go ahead and do that now. Because we need some light. So I think we'll put the torch right there. There. I actually think that um, these ye these yellow torches throw off more light than those really cool looking blue wildfire torches. So that's why I'm using the yellow torches. I'm going to make a crap load of these because I'm sure I'm going to run out. I just freshly got this finished, so there's been no decoration. That's going to take even longer to do than the actual build, I think, because decorating, you know, you want things to look perfect. Or at least I do. And like I said, I want this to be kind of a display area. To display all the different things that you can display in the game. That's my ultimate goal. Come on. Okay. Looking pretty good in here. And we need some light in here. Let's put the light right next to the pillars. There we go. That looks nice. See, good light. 
I think that yellow light does work better than the blue light. I don't know why. It just does, because everything is lit up. Okay. So this is the main floor entrance. Um, it took three three tiers of uh, foundation uh, to build it for some er some of the areas because we've got a, a graded slope that this is built on. But the location is right up here, like I said, behind Freya's hovel, right next to the uh, barrier wall, and uh, two elephants. I only have them here because I wanted to see what the new pets look like. Anyway, so this is what we got. And uh, let's go take a look upstairs. I'm very pleased with this staircase. This grand staircase that I came up with had a little bit of difficulty putting it together because everything in this place, almost every single foundation and ceiling piece is a wedge. Um, there's very few spots where I use squares so that being said stairs don't play nice with the wedges as nicely as they play with the squares so getting things to line up are a little tricky in some cases with uh, putting stairs and wedges but i was able to manage getting this together and i'm very pleased with how it looks and you can see i had to like the offset on here that wedge or that square those uh, stairs offset into it a lot deeper than they normally do because just wedges make measurements go a little wacky. But anyway, that was the first level. So let's go up to level two. Level two is a lot more wide open. And uh, as you can see, the, the pillars uh, inside the hexagon pillars downstairs, there's pillars inside those so that these have total support right here so everything measures up a hundred on these pillars which gives me my maximum stability for uh, everything else inside and this is what we came up with I had this really cool star shape and also to the front side of the building over the outer gate house or outer gateway is this really cool balcony We'll be able to decorate and put all kinds of neat and cool looking things out here on the balcony. And uh, has a nice wide feel about it. Um, support wise, everything comes out to 20. Uh, there are a few areas where stability actually gets up to 10 in some of these. But overall, everything came out nice. And um, I'm very pleased with how it came out. So let's go up to the third level. Take a look. Again, all the staircases, I really like how they look. I think they have a very great, very cool grand feel. This again is the front. We're above that balcony now on the second balcony. Second balcony is pretty much the same. Are very close to being the same. Uh, yeah, I think it is the same. I'm extremely cold out here, so I got to remember to go back inside and heal up. But you can see the tower, and up there. And let's go inside because I'm cold. This is the third floor. And that's still the front balcony. Okay, fourth floor. Let's go up to the fourth floor. Or is this the second? You know, I lost count already. This should be the third floor that I'm on right now. Yeah, first, second, third floor. So we'll go up to floor number four. Again, I'm very happy with these staircases. Took a little bit of doing to come up with those, but I think they look nice. Now we have some little mini balconies. Because the star pattern is stopping. Or the spiky pattern is stopping and we're going up a little, little smaller on the floor plan. 
I'm just using this to regenerate my health. I didn't really want these pillars in here, but there was no other way to make this happen without the pillars. So I had to had to keep them in. But they don't look too bad. Although the square pillars don't turn right sometimes on the triangles. Again, those triangles are very frustrating. Another thing you'll see, the, those mini balconies up there, those little triangular mini balconies. I've got those, those ceiling wedges up there to make it look nice. I had, you can see on that one, that very left wedge fit. But on two of them, it would not let those wedges fit. Let me show you. I'm very frustrated with this. If you come out here to this side and look at this, that one's there. But if we come over here to this side and look at this one, The exact same construction it's identical it's just kind of a mirror image and yet I cannot place that particular ceiling wedge or uh, roofing wedge it's very frustrating and I don't know why and I'm very upset about it um, it just doesn't look finished if that makes any sense but there's two of those little triangle balconies that that's happened on and I got two that it worked fine so that's very frustrating and irritating but anyway you can see we can take a look over the out over the area a nice view and if we come over here come out on this side over here see it's not rendering because it's past my render distance but Freya's hobble sits right down there uh, if we were down one level, we could see it. It would render if I went down one level. Uh, but you can see all the other stuff up there, the volcano. So this is level four, right? One, two, three. This is level four. Let's go up a level. We'll go up to level five. Okay, level five, pretty much identical to level four. Uh, again, we have the little mini balconies. And um, more little kind of diamond shaped balconies there, which I couldn't put, I couldn't get the wedges to show up on that at all. And that's my telephone. Sorry, I forgot to mute my telephone. But uh, anyway, I couldn't get the wedges, even the uh, roofing wedges to go on that those other balconies at all so those are just going to be held up with the pillars uh, so this what level is this five let's see one two three four this is five it's so easy to lose track of where I'm at so this is level five level six should be the beginning of the open balcony so let's say yes this is the open balcony and you can get a really good view from up here. There's the aqueduct. Lots of fog today. And this open balcony is, a, is all the way around. And again, we've got some nice architectural construction. You can see the top there. But this is level six, I think, if I remember correctly. Like I said, it's hard to remember these damn levels sometimes. Okay. And then level seven. Again, we got some balconies here. This is a balcony along the back wall. And some balconies out here in the front. And 
I mean, there's a balcony over here. Well, they're not really in the front. They're kind of to the side. There we go. All right, now let's go up one more level. Whoops. Got to go out the right, right door. All right, let's go up one more level. This was level seven, I think. We're going to go up to level eight, which is the roof. Now, this roof, this was... A little tricky to get this map in here I had to do some deconstruction it was getting very frustrating but the map just fit um, I had to rearrange the this wall this fenced little balcony fence here because normally this little triangle right there and then this little triangle wouldn't be there and this would just be like a little half hex fenced off area which I thought looked prettier but um, it uh, wouldn't let me place the map also I couldn't place the map with these pillars constructed in those walls and all these fence pieces stopped me from being able to place the map so I had to place the map it took me several tries to get it placed exactly right so that I could actually go ahead and build whoops I'm kind of stuck so I could actually build the rest of the structure I had to put the map down before I built anything up higher than the floor than the platform and then once I had the map down in the right spot it took a couple tries finally got it down right in the right exact spot then I was able to build and the plan is to put dancers in those little alcoves just so that there'll be dancers available and then the map of course is fully functional map and then those pillars are all for basically decoration they don't have any function really let me go inside so I can so I can heal back up and this is my black tower so uh, give me comments in the uh, comment section if you like it uh, you like my video give me a thumbs up and uh, please feel free to describe to my channel I at the moment don't have a channel that's dedicated to the game I am in the process of creating that channel so right now I'm using one of my other kind of a catch-all uh, video channels to put these videos in for now um, but I will link everything to the new channel once I get it finished and made. So I'm very happy with how things came out. I will post another video of the decorations once I get them all done. And I'm very pleased with how it looks. And uh, it uh, took a little bit of time doing this on a live server. It's not very defensible. I would not recommend this design if you are on a server that gets raided a lot um, there's not a lot of raids going on on this server uh, we're a PVEC so we do have purge and I can defend almost any structure during a purge but um, this would not be defensible very very defensible for uh, defending against a raiding clan if they really wanted to take you down and they they'd give you a beatdown but uh, it's, this is more for uh, its looks and to kind of share it with other people. And that's my ultimate plan. And uh, it all depends on the server that you play on. If a structure like this would be, you know, beneficial. I do plan on rebuilding again on another, at another time inside a whole complex and I plan on building this inside a complex and that way it would be defensible in case they ever got involved in raiding then uh, this beautiful structure would be inside a complex and be defendable but that is the black tower I'm very pleased with it and I hope you guys all like it too I will be attempting to post um, the plans I set created plans for this in illustrator and uh, I don't know of another program I'm, I'm familiar with illustrator so I use that 
I personally don't know of another uh, design program that can be used. If anybody does know of one that works well with Conan, I'd love to know what it is to see if it's easier than Illustrator to create designs and floor plans. Uh, but I will post that uh, below. So if anybody wants to um, utilize it, feel free uh, to um, use the design. And uh, thank you very much for watching. I appreciate you. And this is Demetrius. And I'm checking out. Thanks again. Have a great day. Bye.